Hello everybody, welcome to the Rockin' Crystals channel. My name is AJ and I am on the road sourcing crystals for the Rockin' Crystals shop. I am going to throw this video over to my buddy Jay, just Jay, no A, to teach you all about crystals today. Exploring the mystical science of crystals. If you're anything like me, you try to find a practical use for items that would seem otherwise frivolous, without a proper purpose. A whimsical a person as I am, I try to make sure I don't generate too much waste in my endeavors, whether it be physical materials, time, energy, etc. Or to at least ensure that whatever it is I purchase or use has a minimum of three lives. What's the point in having extra time on this earth if it's not sustainable to life? Am I right? And what's the point in having anything if the thing has no point? If this makes any sense to you, then read on and find out how you can get the most out of your visits to the metaphysical store. If you make these trips often, then you've probably heard of crystal healing. But what is it really? And what's the practical side of it? The formation of crystals and their relationships to us. To put it simply, crystals are natural formations whose properties, structure and shape depend on their molecular compositions as well as the combination of elements and temperature changes in the earth and water where their base atoms reside. A crystal cannot form in a liquid alone. It requires the presence of another state of matter in order to form nucleus, the starting point of its formation. Much like a plant cannot exist without a seed, the molecular structure and composition of the crystal seed determine the type of crystal it will grow into. As human beings, our anatomical structure is made up of a variety of similar elements, which as calculated, total accounts for 99.98% of our chemical composition, leaving as so far unidentified 0.02%. These percentages is to believed to be the human soul. So essentially, we are crystals and a soul. Pure magic if you ask me. The importance and benefits of cleansing your crystals. Let's say you are browsing the many creases of the world wide web and come across a particular article that leads you to another and another and another. We all know what happens when we climb into the warm we climb into the wormhole and you come across a sparky little rock that you are drawn to but you just can't explain why after doing some exploring you realize that you're drawn to the stone not only for its undeniable beauty but also because surprise it's your birthstone whatever the reason you click buy now and immediately go sit by the door waiting for the post to arrive by the time it does get there, which could seem like forever, as I know at all too well, it's been handled by the manufacturer, the supplier, the middleman, the retailer, and the delivery girl. Yes, imagine the likes of all that energetic chaos swimming around in them and mingling with your precious. The first thing you should do is smudge yourself, your crystal, and your space. For removing negative and invoking love and energy, burn sage and palo santo together, wafting the smoke through your space and around yourself while holding a crystal. If you have multiple, you can also reset them next to you, selenite or selenite plate, which charges as well and cleanses them. Another way to cleanse and charge your crystals is by leaving them out under the moonlight sunlight or even in a moon water bath. Be careful though, some stones are sensitive to sunlight and water. Manipulating crystal energy. Energy is infinite, meaning it cannot, cannot be created nor destroyed. It can however be channeled, manipulated and amplified 
Many ways to do this is but one of the simpler and more natural methods is by harnessing the powers of a crystal, which we'll get to there in just a minute. That being said, there's hardly a wrong way, but it does require some basic knowledge and understanding of what each stone has to offer. Just as you associate light with emptiness and dark with fulfillment, or the other way around, crystals that are light in color offer properties of cleansing and clarity, while darker crystals lend more sustainable energies, such as protection and grounding. These two types of crystals go hand in hand with each other, replacing the negative with the positive as they balance each other out. The in-between crystals our colored crystals exist in a wider variety as do their healing purposes and are more specific when it comes to intentions. Pair any colored stone with either a light or a dark or both and amplify the properties of that stone as well as adding protection which is always a bonus. Using crystals and candle magic is a common practice in present times and leads the energy of healing crystals to a candle as it's being burned. The intention of the candle would determine what stone would be best to use. For example, a candle for cleansing and balance could be paired with selenite, whereas a candle for abundance and prosperity could be paired with green avicerine. Crystal healing in the modern spiritual practices. Many modern day spiritualists utilize the healing properties of crystals in various therapy sessions, rituals, spells, divination and even implement their use into their crafting of spiritual tools. In some forms of neo-paganism, crystals are used as conduits of energy for the purpose of manifesting specific intentions and are often set out on an altar, attached to a wand or laid in candles to combine their magic with that of fire. Crystals are also often placed in spell jars to combine the energy with that of herbs and other ingredients, a form of divination often used in these circles in runic magic, which make like tarot cards, provide insights to a situation at hand, situations to come and offer advice on moving forward. Ruins are ancient symbols that were used by pagans of all times, each with a specific purpose. They were often carved on rocks, sticks, and even on the shields of Viking warriors to invoke healing, protection, or defense. Quite properly, in the modern times, runes are carved into healing crystals for that purpose of combining their powers with that of a particular crystal. For example, to invoke love and healing into your divination practices, you would use rose quartz ruin stones or for protection, obsidian ruin stones. In light healing and reiki healing, crystals are used to manipulate the flow of energy through the body as well as the chakras, assisting revitalizing of the mind as well as the organs. During these types of therapy, crystals are laid on specific parts of the body in order to assist the vibration of the chakras, thus releasing any stagnant energy that causes blockages or physical complications. Another form of crystal healing, much like the above mentioned forms of therapy, is meditating with crystals. During your regular medita meditation routine, you would select your crystals and surround yourself with them, or in turns hold them against various parts of the body. The best stone for meditation would be one for each chakra, such as clear quartz for the crown, amethyst for the third eye, lapis lazuli for the heart throat, green aventrine for the heart, citrine for the solar plexus, carnelian for sacral, and red jasper for the roots. This will help to align the ch chakras, allowing energy to flow freely and healthier through the body. Crystals and the Zodiac How a crystal affects us in often times, depending on how well its properties and correlations fit with our personality. 
In astrology, we learn that positions of cel- celestial masses on the day and time we were born play an important role in our general characteristics and how we would develop as a person. For each of the 12 zodiac signs, there is a sun sign as well as a moon and rising sign, their planets as well as the corresponding element. These aspects are related in different ways to specific healing crystals to find out what stones would work best for you. Run your Natal charts and compare it with the references below. Capricorn December 22nd, January 19th Element, Earth Planet, Saturn Birthstone, Garnet Garnet soothing properties help to calm the overacting mind of a Capricorn while boosting energy to get things done. Keep the stone in your workspace. Aquarius, January 20th, February 18th Element, Air Planet, Uranus Birthstone, Amethyst People born under the Aquarius are known for their innovation and creativity, but those characteristics leave room for daydreaming and tendencies of being a bit detached from reality. Amethyst instills peace and inner strength, as well as balancing rational thought and intuition. Pisces, February 19th, March 20th. Element, water, planet, Neptune, first stone, aquamarine, As a water sign, Pisces have a tendency to be dreamers and great nurturers, which often drains a lot of energy. Aquamarine, with its calming and loving vibrations, help to replenish the energy lost. Aries, March 21st, April 20th, Element Fire, Planet Mars, Birdstone Carnelian. Fiery Aries often needs a bit of stabilization. Otherwise, the energy can become explosive. Carnelian balances strength and courage while keeping you grounded. Keep a piece near your front door as a reminder that anything is possible. Taurus, April 21st, May 20th. Element Earth, Planet Venus, Birdstone Emerald. Individuals born under the sign tend to approach situations head first and therefore often need a little insight into the heart. Emeralds attract the most cosmic powers. Emeralds attract the cosmic powers of Venus and love, which makes it the perfect stone for Taurus. Wear the stone around your neck. Gemini, May 21st, June 21st. Element Air, Planet Mercury. Birthstone Labradorite. The unifying properties of this stone help to connect the many dimensions of a Gemini's mind. It also protects against psychic attacks and keeping the mind balanced. Keep the stone anywhere in the home. Cancer, June 22nd, July 22nd. Element Water, Planet Moon, Birthstone Red Jasper. Cancers are naturally very in touch with the emotions and empathetic towards others. This can often lead to self-neglect. Red Jasper is ideal for revitalizing energy and aiding in a little self-love. Keep the stone near to where you would normally take time for yourself. Leo, July 23rd, August 22nd, Element Fire, Planet the Sun, Birthstone Pyrite. Pyrite harnesses the energy of the sun, which lends passion and strength to Leo. This stone will help you to overcome obstacles, push forward in your endeavors, keep in your workspace for encouragement. Virgo, August 23rd, September 22nd, Element Earth, Planet Mercury, Birthstone Green Apolite. Virgos are naturally caring and tend to relate well to people. Ut- utilizing this stone helps to connect them to nature, keeping it near a plant in their home. Libra, September 23rd, October 22nd. Element Air, Planet Venus, Birth Stone, Sodalite. Sodalite's ability to harmonize thought and truth complements. Libra's natural talent for communicating with others. Keep the stone in the area of your home 
where you would normally gather with friends or family to promote harmony and understanding. Scorpio, October 23rd, November 21st, Element Water, Planet Pluto, Birthstone Citrine. Citrine promotes calm and self-confidence, which makes it the perfect stone to balance Scorpio's intensity and charisma. Keep the stone near your windows to clear out negative energy. Sagittarius, November 22nd, December 21st. Element, fire, planet, Jupiter. Birthstone, tree aged. Tree aged, close connection to Earth's in energy encourages Sagittarius adventurous spirit and spontaneity. Carry it in your travel bag or keep it next to your books. If you're feeling unbalanced, overly emotional, stressed, anxious, or if you're feeling experience in any mental or physical upset, do yourself a favor and incorporate the use of healing crystals into your daily life. Note that these stones will not cure any illness or disease. See a doctor when you should, but they can definitely ease discomfort in many areas. Download an ebook, visit the nearest metaphysical store. You can win a crystal by leaving a comment and letting us know what you love about crystals. Also be subscribed to this channel. We give away a new crystal with every video upload. If you're looking to buy crystals, we have some amazing deals available at our crystal shop. Link in the description below. Grab yourself a free copy of the Crystal Compendium, which has over 250 crystal definitions. Link in the description below. Join our crystal affiliate program if you'd like to make money selling crystals. We pay a 20 2% commission for referred sales. Enroll in our crystal healing course. Link in the description below along with the link to our affiliate program and check out the Crystal Meanings app in both the App Store and Google Play Store for crystal meanings and definitions at your fingertip. It's absolutely free, pun intended. And of course, be subscribed to this channel because we learn something about crystals every single day. And who doesn't love learning about crystals? Okay, have a great day.